Hey guys, Steve Thorne coming to you today on a magnificent Monday. Weather's outstanding. It's gorgeous outside. And I just felt inspired to kind of share a quick story with you for today's Steve Thorne Minute. And it was about um, a, a call that was made. First, I made the call to this um, Louver Plantation Shutter Company for a particular application uh, at my home, kind of up high. And um, some light was coming in and I just decided to call this company and it was actually called the Louver Shop. So shout out to the Louver Shop company. But it was about the culture, not in the company, but in this particular business owner or this licensee owner's mind. He came out and he, we got on the subject of small jobs versus big jobs. And he said, a lot of the reps in my company don't like to go on the one window or the two window, the smaller jobs. He said they, they find that it's a waste of their time and it's not worth it. And um, I've experienced that sometimes when you need something and somebody kind of has an attitude like, yeah, I don't want to help with that or it's not worth my time. You've got to value your time, but you've got to be really careful that you're not just in a sell mode, but you're in a help and sell mode always. Always coming from the position of helping first. Help people buy. Help them solve problems. Help them find solutions. And what I loved about this guy was he came out and the topic came up and he said, you know, I'm more than happy to to uh, quote or bid on a small job. And he said, the guys in my company that say they don't like to do those, he said, I tell them, look, you're missing the boat. He said, because a small job can lead to a big job. When you get in somebody's home, the lead, getting the lead is half the battle. Once you're there, you have the opportunity to upsell or share other opportunities or other solutions in their home that you offer and provide. And so what can appear on the surface to be a little deal can turn into the big deal. And um, ironically, after he shared this particular topic, this business concept with me and his personal belief system, I said, oh, and by the way, let me show you what I'm doing in the living room and let me show you what's going on in the kitchen and I've got this nice decorative valance that's here, but there's quite a bit of light that comes in and I'm kind of wondering what I should do here. Let me show you what I put in the office. And as I went through the home, so I found myself being more comfortable with this guy versus trying to get rid of him and on with my schedule. It built rapport and it made me want to reciprocate and help him with his goals. Wow. So remember, help people then sell people and quite honestly he didn't really have to sell me because in my mind now I can't wait to get his quote for this one application and we're already talking about now having him do something for the living room the kitchen and another application in the master and I just think it was a great great valuable lesson so in this Steve Thorne minute help and sell help then sell don't just try to sell don't be short-sighted. Keep the big picture in mind. Help people. It'll always come back to you. Respect your time. Be wise. But remember, help and sell. Steve Thorne signing off. Hope you're having a great day today. I'm going to get some lunch at my um, favorite Monday spot. And um, until our next video, like this video, share it, retweet it, share it, post it to your Facebook with your friends and family that are involved in sales and marketing. And um, even if they're not, I think the people enjoy this video. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video in our pursuit of the coveted goal of 500 videos. Thanks for subscribing to Steve Thorne TV, and I will see you on our next video. Bye for now.